Okay, in the parking lot late at night, here we bring you our Orange Panther of the Week, Omar Landros, who's wound up helping Orange to a 3-0 win tonight <laughs> over Southern Durham. Omar, you've been through a lot here. The game Monday, obviously, against Chapel Hill didn't go the way you wanted mm -hmm. to, but just the fact that you were part of what may have been the biggest game in this school's history in soccer says a lot. So uh, did that weigh in on your mind at all? Um, well, I just got to take every game. We we take, as a team, we take every game, like, uh, day by day. We can't just look. I mean, it was a great win, but we have to look on what we can do at the current time. Yeah. Coming out of that game, losing 2-0, that was for the conference championship. But uh, now where are the goals? Obviously, the one goal now is to make the state playoffs. Yeah, and, playoffs. And you're standing pretty good chance now to get a playoff berth. Uh, I think, uh, well, well, now we only have one game left in our regular season. I think we just want to win on senior night so we can go out. Uh, yeah. Thing. yeah, that's going to be Monday. Yes. And... As you look back now, I mean, this, this program's come a long way. You've already clinched a winning season. You set a school record for consecutive wins. There's a lot to be proud of there. You, I mean, have you thought about that yet? Uh, yeah, being part of this for four years, it's kind of crazy to see how much uh, we've progressed as just a, a soccer program overall. But my freshman year, no one really thought of anything of us. My sophomore year, we put off some upsets. Last year didn't go as planned, but this year I feel like everything yeah. came together. What do you look back on? I know you want to get a playoff win, and you haven't had your biggest win in your mind as of yet. But so far, what's been the the, the milestone victory? Um, I think just winning the first, getting the first winning season in quite a while is enough for me. Yeah, not one in particular, not beating Chapel Hill or beating East, but just any win's a good win. Any win's a good win. What do you do outside of soccer here? Um. Nothing. I really do soccer year-round. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you travel club teams, yes. things like that? It's, what, type, what club teams do you play on? Uh, I play on Triangle, Triangle United Gold. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something that I don't know how much thought you've given, but after the United States men's national team, above 20, lost last uh, Wednesday to Trinidad and Tobago, what, do you, what, if it, that, what effect do you think that's going to have on American soccer? Uh, Do you think well, that's going to increase? I think it might decrease it because at the 2014 World Cup, everyone was kind of excited about like the rise mm -hmm. of it, and then Christian Pulisic came up. But like now, not making it means like a whole audience isn't going to be exposed to it. So. Yeah. So maybe not a whole generation, but mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, maybe half a generation is now are going to not see Christian Pulisic yeah. in his prime on the world stage. Well. But I think a lot of people like my age, we watched the World Cup in 2014, so I guess we could still be inspired by what happened there. Yeah. You just have to watch the Bundesliga on <laughs> Saturdays and Sundays in the fall. And the Mexican League. Yeah, the Mexican League. Is that what you watch also? Oh, uh, yeah. I, you me Mexico again? and U.S. I, I support, except if it's Mexico versus U.S., I support Mexico. <laughs> Who do you watch in Liga MX? Um, just everybody. I don't even have a particular favorite. Okay. No Club America or anything like that? Uh, well, my, like, I guess the home state of my parents is uh, Nacox. So there's a team there. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you.